Ledger Nano S Firmware 1.4.1 Update Ledger Wallet has released a new firmware for the Nano S version 1.4.1. If you open Ledger Manager and go to Firmware, you can see the new firmware that can be installed. It has the possibility to install more apps on the device. Ledger says up to 18 apps. I've been able to install 15 on mine. It depends on which applications you choose to install. The new firmware has better screen lock management. You can lock the screen by pressing down both of the buttons for three seconds. It has full 24 word backup validation enforcement and some other and some other new updates for speed and security, which you can read on the website. I'll put up a link to the new firmware update so you can check that out. I'll go ahead and click on install. I'll click on allow ledger manager on my ledger. The update failed. It says I have too many applications and I need to remove some applications. So I'll go to applications in Ledger Manager and I'll start to uninstall some of the applications. I'll uninstall the Bitcoin application. I'll go ahead and uninstall a few more. I'll uninstall Doge. I'll uninstall Ethereum. Not sure if I had to actually uninstall this many, but just in case I went ahead and uninstalled them. Now I'll go back to firmwares and I'll click on install. It's installing the OS updater. asks me if I want to update the firmware so I'll click yes on the ledger now I have to put in my pin code so I'll quickly do that pin code is in and it tells me my MCU firmware is outdated I'll click on both buttons the device MCU must be updated using the ledger manager app Press and hold 5 seconds, the button close to the USB when you plug it in. Update is mandatory, press button to reset. So what I need to do here is I need to press down the button on my ledger while I plug it in. I need to hold that down for 5 seconds and it says bootloader on the screen, then you know you're ready, you can let go. Now it should restore the MCU. Once that's successful, you should be able to go ahead and install the firmware. I'll go ahead and install the firmware. Unfortunately, I did not capture this on my ledger. So once your firmware is installed, you can go ahead and start installing your applications again. I did not have to reload my seed after this firmware update, so you shouldn't have to do that. I did this on two ledgers. You will be able to install a lot more applications on your Ledger Nano S after this update. I have 15 apps installed on both of my ledgers, some of them the same apps. I just tried to see how many I could get installed on my Ledger Nano S. Some of the applications do seem to take up more memory than others. I'm pretty sure that Ripple and Stellar, they take up a lot of I have to uninstall a lot of applications in order to install those. 
So I've not installed those, and I decided to try to not install the Ethereum application this time around, but unfortunately I was only able to get 15 applications installed, as you can see here. So that's great that you can install more applications. I already had two of these, and with so many coins available on Legend NOS, I was thinking of having to get a third. Luckily I don't have to now. But even though you can install up to 18, having one may not be enough, so you still may want to get a second Ledger Nano S in order to install all of the different coin applications, all the different wallets. So I hope you liked this video. I hope it helped, and thanks for watching.